all been there. The weekend rolls around. The kids want breakfast, but you've got limited ingredients on hand. All right, have no fear. Siri Daly has you covered. Siri, good morning. Hello, nice good to morning. see you. Good to see you guys. You are going to make what you make, Carson, every morning before <laughs> every he gets off to work. Exactly, oh. right? But Almost. it's a variation this of This is it. a hit um, in our house now. It's a new hit, yes. The, in this case, I'm going to use frozen tater tots, and I'm going to turn them into little hash brown egg cups, and then I'm going to bake an egg in the center. Now, I use frozen hash brown, I mean, uh, tater tots, because I don't know many moms that don't have frozen tater tots on right. hand. Although this is good with just potato, too. You can make like yes, a hash you can brown. Yes, you can make your own hash so browns if you're feeling like it, or frozen hash brown. browns are great, too. Suffice to say, you're not so, an enormous <laughs> fan of the sweet potato version I don't like the version sweet potato of this. version of this. Why are you making that one? Why are you here right now? Good point. <laughs> Good point. I was asking myself that. Um, all right, let's look at the all ingredients. Right. We're gonna, yeah, you're going to taste it and see what you think. So, right. yeah, hash browns, we have two different kinds, the sweet potato, the regular, butter, eggs, and onion. Right here, I have some onion sautéing in butter, and now we're going to just add. I've let these thaw a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're going to add them, and we're going to just crush them with a wooden spoon oh, to sort of create. Exactly. Ah. Season it with salt and pepper. Yeah, I like to have a little bit of both because I think it helps get the crispy shell, and I like um, the sweet and savory combo, which I know you yeah, that's don't like. Gets me. I'm not um, a big sweet savory person. Okay. Well, so see, it's very easy to just, once they're thawed, take the wooden spoon, and you just create your own little hash brown mixture. And when you're all done, it's going to look like this. Now, a trick to make okay. the shells nice and crispy, you want to take this mixture and put it into a lined um, colander that just has some paper towel. You're going to kind of smoosh the moisture yep, out of you that? You want to just kind of get any excess liquid out of here and that will help create a super crispy shell. And this is pretty dry already, but so, okay. yeah. So that's a little trick. Now we're gonna take our spoon. Now at table home, spoon. is that the part Carson does? Is that what he does? No, I no, do the he part doesn't where do I go, anything. where's the bacon in this whole thing? <laughs> well, there's bacon. I go to the freezer and there's I get bacon, bacon and I work me. in some pancetta, so some bacon, take some salt, something. A couple tablespoons Ketchup. and just take a, a little tiny spatula, or you can also use your hands. Fingers, right. And create, I actually use my hands at home. It's much easier to create your little nest like so and then here they are all done spray it with cooking spray and we're going to pop it into the oven for I about do I'll do okay you do that make yourself how useful. long is that going to cook um, to get crispy about 15 minutes without the eggs but then you're you, cooking these twice exactly so then you take them out you let them cool for a little bit and then we'll crack our eggs um right oh, into the center got a garnish station set exactly. up exactly this doesn't have that at home no, no, that that's good. That's gonna make <laughs> that's a, this. That's a pretty good garnish. The guys are eating it downstairs. Yeah. Tamara, what do you think, what do you, you think? guys? Yeah, that's gonna be a fun ride for you two. Don't. This is delicious, Siri. <laughs> this is like breakfast with the Bickersons. <laughs> Alan, do you like this? Do you the like this? Is take, you know what? Wait, Carson and I, we you, we talked about this before. I was not. In theory, a fan of the sweet potato, but eating it now, it's Siri, so winner. Yes. yes. Wow. It's okay. a very good. Right. Thank you, Al. So good. this goes back in then the oven. Then this goes back in the oven. You want to cook Come it for around. about another 15 minutes until the eggs um, just set. You, if you want to cook them a little longer so that you don't have the run, runny yolks, you can do that. But yeah. we like the runny yolks. I like the runny yolk. Yeah, and there then you here go. we go. Garnish them. We have some. You know, some cilantro, some avocado, bacon, of course, okay. cheese. This I mean, is what fun. they the look like when they're this. done, but I want to get to this. Yeah. This has to be your okay. favorite. We're not going to actually if make you, the recipe. Right. You can get that online. If you have a little more time, these are banana bread cinnamon rolls. Yeah, those are ridiculous. So, I mean, if you have ripe bananas laying around, yeah. which we or always bacon. do. I'm going to make the frosting real quick. Here's some cream cheese, some powdered sugar, some milk, and vanilla. You want to throw that vanilla in? Or What's would you rather yep. just eat? Got there it. you go. Um, one? Yes. And then we're going to whisk it up. And you have a cream cheese icing. Those are like extraordinary. So, right? You know, you can't go wrong they with that. They are really good. With banana bread cinnamon. All right, Siri, thank you very much. Breakfast with the dailies. Right. And you can put this recipe, or we'll put the recipe up on our website. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.